Welcome to my first playthrough of Small Land. My name is Miser. Thanks for joining me today. This is the first time I have ever streamed and I kind of want to take you guys along the journey with me while I'm figuring out what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> it feels a little silly talking to nobody. I don't know if I like that part yet. Um, but I'm excited to try this. This is one of the games that I bought as soon as it came out. But being that I've been so busy, I haven't really had a chance to sit down and play it yet. Um, the little that I have seen has been live streamed where there's a lot going on, a lot of players. And so I've not really gotten a lot of exposure to single player, which I'm excited about testing out. Um, I've got my cup of coffee next to me, and I'm ready to go. So, okay, let's see. My little miser. Cute. Let's see. Do a new one. Honesty miser. Oh, friendly fire will be off. I don't actually remember doing this. I must have done this right after it, it first came out because I always name my, my playthroughs Mizland. <laughs> um, so, 100%, creature damage 100%. I feel like we should take fall damage down because I have a feeling I'm going to fall a lot, but I'm going to leave it at 100%. I'm going to trust what I already did and I'm going to just pop in. I feel like these games always have a lot of collection to do, and I feel like I should be on the lookout, but I'm not seeing anything that pops out to me, so maybe maybe we have to go down and do this first before we can start our usual hoarding. The fuck in the Overland Vanguard. Keep your wits about you and stay frosty. May the Sacred Owl be with you, Vanguard. I have seen the Sacred Owl. They're cute. Okay, make sure to search for these owl effigies for useful information. Okay. Ah. Uh, here, we can start now. My wife can make a mean pixie omelet. Do you think they use real pixies to make pixies omelets? Food at the root barracks has become pretty stale lately. Luckily, my sister brought me some fresh insect eggs this morning. Delicious. I'm really, really curious about these pickle omelets. <gasps> More things to hoard. This makes me happy. <laughs> want to change the keys on this. The F for pickup is a little bit me. The burrows is an extensive work of underground tunnels and caverns that is home to the small folk. The tunnels are incredibly intricate with multiple levels and branching paths that stretch for hundreds of yards in all directions. They are lit by glowing crystal lamps and makeshift torches, creating a warm, inviting atmosphere. I love that their eyes stop glowing when you've seen them because I will forget that I've been there. Oh, thanks to Horde. I can already tell this game is going to make me so happy. I'm a simple gal. Okay, what is this? One, two, three, four, five. It must be... Walked right past him. Press tab to open the inventory and select the codex to help keep track of all the workstations and items that you craft at each. You can also check with uh, which armor sets can be crafted by which small folk once you seek them out. Okay, fair enough. Ugh, and again. 
When you examine an owl effigy, it reveals useful pieces of advice. This info is automatically logged in your compendulum. No, compendium. I can read. I promise. Which you can access at any time from the inventory menu. Press tab to open the inventory and select the compendium section to see all the hints and tips that owl effigies have already revealed. Okay. Back recording. long press that F button. That makes gathering stuff so much easier. The overland is rich with natural resources and food, and some can only be harvested with the correct tool. You can craft different tools to harvest natural resources. Some resources can only be harvested with specific types of tools to be sure to learn the best tool for the job. Press V to engage antenna mode in order to help you spot harvestable resources. Okay. CB. Oh, that's a little trippy. We go back to normal. What do I? How do I get out of this? So, auto shift, jump, crouch, toggle. Can I get? Oh. I'm a little, oh, I'm a little woman. I played um, Grounded for a long time, and I really, really love that game. But the characters are so cartoonish and so funny. I don't know. Um, this one seems a little bit more realistic, a little bit more of an adult game. Did past miser take me the wrong way? OMG. Yeah. Okay. I think I think I think old miser has let me down. You can lose health due to a variety of factors, being attacked by hostile creatures, extreme temperatures, falling from great heights. I'm gonna do all of these a lot. Sprinting, sliding, dodging, jumping, attacking, and blocking all consume stamina. Pay attention when it becomes low and manage it carefully not to leave yourself vulnerable. Okay. Press that F tab, collecting the stuff. Press M to open up the map and see your position in the overland. The map will show you the location of the vanguards, your spawn location, your gravestones, and any custom markers you add. By selecting a marker, you can make it appear on the compass at the top of your screen. Okay. So, yeah, past miser, past miser took me to the wrong area. Past Miser started down the, the path that she should not have started down if she wasn't going to play the game. Bad Past Miser. Okay. Little owl guys are hidden everywhere. Small folk are resourceful people. Tools, weapons, and food can be crafted and materials on the overland. Finding crafting recipes to learn how to craft new items. You'll need a crafting station. Every vanguard knows how to craft some basic tools and weapons without a workbench. Press G to see which items you can craft from the get-go. Okay. These are some big berries. Mm. Just 
going to walk up and take something from somebody and they're going to be like, You stole that from me! Hi! Make sure you eat and drink. Berries, gets depleted. You can find delicious berries in the forest, hunt creatures in the overland for food, or even cook your own meals. If anybody has ever had my cooking before, they know that that is not an option. Even in games, I'm never the cook. <laughs> Stay away from deep water. Can't swim. Upon death, you'll spawn at your activated bed. A tombstone will appear where you died. That's so sad. I always hoard a lot at the beginning of a game because I never know how much of an item I'm gonna need. And go a little bit overboard sometimes. But you know what? I always have whatever I need on hand. So, I guess that's kind of good, right? And the little owl. I don't know which way I'm supposed to go. Well, let's talk to this owl guy. Temperatures drop at night and rise in the afternoon. Nocturnal only come out at night. Watch night creatures usually more dangerous than their daytime counterparts. Build a bed to set a new spawn point. Okay. So then G lets us open up the craft menu. So immediately I see... What is this? A wooden club. Do we have to put it in our hands? Bandages. I'm going to put that in two. Mushroom steaks. used as glue. So the resin is used as glue. Vipers, some blackberries. I wonder, should I eat? Where's my person? Inventory map, compendium codex. Oh, here we are. Nah, I'm good. I'm good for right now. Alright, so I've got a club. I'm gonna do a hatchet really quickly. Oh lordy. <laughs> I built all the hatchets. Let's do this one two and this one three. Okay. Well, you know, extra hatchets for extra chopping. I don't know. I'm not going to need a hatchet for a little while, I'm thinking. So that way over there looked like it had a door. And I don't want to go out yet because I want to see what's over here. So I'm going to come this way. It's already dark. Harvest needs a wood hatchet or better. Pretty little mushrooms. I feel kind of bad chopping them down. Since I don't know what is friendly and what isn't yet, everything makes me a little bit nervous. Can I come over here and jump? I surely can. Sweet. I 
a kid, I always wanted to live in a tree. I know there's trees that we can live in. I'm guessing we go up for that. Huh. I wish I kind of had an idea of where I was going. <laughs> Not down there. Dude. This low key reminds me of Fern Gully. I was obsessed with that movie when I was a kid. So, can we come? I try to whip my booty or not. Ooh, hey yo! Ooh, and it's daytime. Structures, make sure your constructions are properly roofed. Rain also makes plants and mushrooms grow back faster after you harvest them. Weather affects temperature. Be sure to wear the appropriate clothes. Okay. And don't starve to death. That was really stressful considering, like, I didn't know what I was looking at. Okay. I think it's just, it's just gonna around in circles, so I'm gonna head out to the other direction. Gathering up our resin slash glue as we go along. Alright, stay on task. The Elder. Let's see. Landguard, you're finally here. Elder, what are you doing in this overgrown cave? The jeweled clover key that unlocks the apothecary's chest has gone missing. I fear it may have been stolen. Try to find some other means of opening the chest. Who is the apothecary? What's in the chest? Do you have any idea who might have taken it? Have you tried forcing the chest? I was told you required my presence. I wonder if this little leaf or feather means that this is like the preferred response. I don't say, have you ever tried forcing it? We dare not. The chest is heavily reinforced and we would risk destroying the elixir within. Why do I imagine him like picking up the chest and just like knocking it against the ground to try to open it. Like, you get a, not a crowbar, maybe a branch or something, you jam it in, you give it a little bit of leverage. Alright, what's in the chest? Melkar, the apothecary's greatest achievement. The elixir of life. He claimed it could heal any ailment known to small folk. We know who the apothecary is. So, do we care who's taken the key? Because I feel like even if we know... Let's just do this one. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. We've received troubling reports from the overland settlers in the forest. It seems as though some of the creatures in the area have become unusually agitated and aggressive. Seek out these settlers and investigate their claims. Does this have anything to do with the clever key? It's an interesting coincidence, but no. Find the settlers scattered throughout the map. Scattled. Scattled isn't a word. Scattered throughout the map. Or forest. I've marked their location on your map. Be careful. 
filled with danger. Hearn and Caliph will help you survive here in the overland. Okay. Um, let's do this one. The key was locked in the royal vault, which is always under heavy guard. Only the king and I are allowed entry. Obviously not. The theft was noticed when the queen became ill and the clover key was needed. But it could have happened some time ago. Hmm. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. I like this is a little bit of a slow start, but... I'll edit out me getting lost and stuff. That way, you guys don't have to sit through a bunch of stuff. Hopefully, if I can figure out editing. <laughs> okay, just gathering some stuff. What is this? It looks like a chest made out of a walnut. On the back where there are hinges. On the front has a strange cavity in the shape of a four-leaf clover. Oh, it's a clover chest. There's definitely no picking that up to shake it around. It's huge. It's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. I like how they have like full-on people-sized candles. How did they even get that in here? I got turned around. I don't know which direction I came from. Okay, where is this urn? Urn. Uh huh. Uh. Oh, that wasn't that much of an aha. Uh -huh. Let's try pulling up our map and seeing where we're supposed to go. Caleb is way over here. Hearn is behind us. That away. Climb up some stuff. Try not to die. This is literally the entirety of me playing. Climb on stuff, try not to die. Climb on stuff, try not to die. This looks familiar. This is my spawn point. <laughs> she low-key looks like I look when I'm running. I'm not a graceful runner. That away. Is it this dude down here by the oh my gosh. I literally ran past him like three times. him. Wow. Okay. Greeting, Vanguard. Welcome to the Overland. I'm Captain Hernest. Manny Cobby. Cute. I like it. But most small folks simply call me Hern. What can I do for you? Alright, let's ask some, some questions. Sure, what exactly do you want to know? Which tools should I craft? We already know that. All of them. There's something else I'd like to ask you before I go. Okay? Ask away. Uh, did you craft some armor for me? Heck yeah, let's see. Sure, Vanguard, but you'll have to bring me all the necessary materials. What do you need? What do you need, brah? Padded bracers. Oh, and this is where it comes in handy being a hoarder. So it looks like I've got, like, a lesser version of the padded bracers and stuff right now. Okay, I think I am happy with that. Let's go ahead and close that. I feel like I missed something. Um, oh, I was told to report to you for my assignment. 
Ah, yes, I've been expecting you, the Elder Ludwig. Please request your presence. Go see him at once. Oh, I already saw him. I was told to report to you. I literally just left this area, and I'm pretty sure I got all these. I should make it a drinking game. Every one of these I miss, you got to take a shot. Armor provides protection. Some settlers can make new sets of armor for you if you give them the materials. Okay. Yeah, the resources here grow back super fast. I need to be careful I'll just running around collecting the same stuff over and over again until I've got a million of everything. Oh, I love that they salute to me. Okay, so we can beat these guys up. Aww. Oh, he's fast. Get back over here. Not run from me. Oh, It's a little bad. Oh, he's fast as hell, man. I'm sorry. Oh, that is not fair. That is not fair. Oh, great. Now they're all looking at me. Awesome. Come here, little guy. He doesn't look nice. Oop, yeah, he's definitely that's not a nice sound. I don't oh. run, jump, run, jump. Yeah, that is not I don't like him. I can hear him behind me. Oh my god, there's another one. How long is he gonna chase me for? Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Now I've got bees and... Oh, no! I'm really getting stressed out here.
okay. I didn't like that. Like a picnic table or bench? Last little bit I've had, I'm just gonna leave these guys alone. No, he doesn't like me. Oh my gosh. Are these termites? Oof, ow. Oh my gosh. And bees. Do it. And oh, oh my God, that was so stressful. That's one way to get back to safety. I did not like dying. I'm gonna end it here. I wanted to get something up since I told Autumn and a few other people that I would post something and I didn't do it this weekend like I said I was going to. Um, I do want to thank Autumn for being such an amazing person and encouraging me to do this. Um, even just sitting here right now I probably wouldn't have done it if it wasn't for her. Um, also, everybody who has asked and been so sweet to me, um, I want to say thank you to you too. Anyway, I will go ahead and end it here. You guys, stay frosty.